Hello and welcome to my second OpenCV tutorial with C++. So last time we learned how to open video, how to display it and how to save it. And if you didn't see that tutorial you can go ahead and see it or you can just download the code down in the description and start from this video. So for this tutorial you need to have the contribution modules of OpenCV uh, installed. If you don't have, go ahead and do that. I will not teach it here because YouTube has a lot of good tutorials on that. Yeah, so let's get started. To use the tracking functions, we have to include the OpenCV tracking header file, like so. And first thing what we want to do is create the tracker. So we have create the OpenCV pointer, like so. And the pointer type is, of course, tracker. And we can name a tracker, for example. And then we create the tracker. So there's at least five different trackers available. Uh, perhaps for this time I will start with the KCF. And we need to create it like so. But when you get this, this code running, I think you should try all the different trackers and see which ones are slow and fast and accurate, so you get a good idea which ones are suitable for you. So you just change it here and you can go to see, for example, to the OpenCV website, what they have uh, available at the moment. Okay, now we have created our tracker. Then we want to read the one frame from the video, like we do in the while loop below. And from this frame, we choose the initial tracking box where our object is. So for that, you will use Save the tracking box here in the sorry in the rect to v and you can name it for example tracking box and that equals to cv and select region of interest or select row and for that we give argument frame and then you might want to give so crosshair false otherwise it will create a so kind of a cross in the middle of the rectangle you choose, or you can leave it true. You can just play around and see how it looks and see what suits you the best. Okay, so now we have chosen the initial tracking box, and then we just have to initialize our tracker. So we use tracker init, and by the way, here we have this like a arrow. That is because tracker is a pointer, so if you haven't done any C++ coding to access kind of the functions of, of pointers, you will use the arrow, because normally you use the, normally you, you would use dot, like here is used video dot is opened. Okay, so init, and we give the frame and tracking box as an argument there. Okay. Now we have created a tracker and we have also initialized. Now on each loop we will read a new frame. So we of course have to update the tracker every time because our target which we are tracking might be moving. So we create the if, if uh, statement here and tracker update and again we give the frame and tracking box. And this is actually super easy because all the kind of tracking and like what really is happening under the hood is done in the update. So you don't have to really know what's going on there. It's just a black, black box for us. But of course, if you are interested in it, you should definitely go to read the white paper or otherwise get, get familiar with the trackers here. And we put it inside the if statement because it, this tracker update will return either true or false. And false in the case it didn't manage to track the object. So in that case, we don't want to draw any box around the, around anything because we don't know where it is. Okay, so now we have updated tracker. Then we just had to draw the rectangle around the target. So rectangle, this is the drawing function. And we draw it on the frame, of course. And you give the tracking box there. And then you can give actually color of the tracking box. So there's the CVS color. 
and this is uh, blue, green, red, I think. So if we want, for example, just blue box, we just put blue, give the maximum value of 255, and give 0 for green and red, like so. So this should give us a blue box. And you can just play around with these values and change the colors as you like. And the next one is the thickness of the lines around the box. So for example, one, two is good value, I think. I will perhaps put two for this one. And then there's the line type. Uh, I will use just eight here. That's the default value if you don't put anything. I just think you should go see the OpenCV documentation, what values they have available, and play around with that a little bit. Okay, and now we are done. So now we can just run the application. And I have the video coming from default camera now. So let's see what happens. Okay, and you see the picture is stopped. And we can select the target we want. I will choose this one here. And then I press enter. And yeah, actually now I the target is not really moving. I'm moving the camera, but I guess the idea is the same. So you can see the blue box follows the target quite well here. Yeah, and of course, like last time you, heard, you can use your video file too. So I will just give here a video file as an argument, and then we can run it again. Okay, and it will pause on the first frame, and you just choose your target here, for example, it's choose here, and then press enter, and it works quite well. It's not super fast, and perhaps the box is a little bit drifting on the side, actually up, but yeah, this is a, this is how the KCF tracker works, and let's see when the man gets out of the frame. Okay, and now it doesn't draw anything because it failed to update the tracker. Okay. So go ahead and try the different trackers right here and see how that works, which one works best for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.